today we got a VZ a Commodore with a 3.6 litre alloy tech engine. It's a 2006, 2006 build. Um, the complaint about this car is it's got misfire. So this came from a um, another mechanic shop, um, and they told me that they um, they took the manifold off and checked for vacuum leaks. Um, and um, he's saying it's throwing fault uh, um, on one bank, all three cylinders. It's a V6, all three cylinders on um, your right hand bank is um, is misfiring. Um, looks like they've replaced that one coil right here. This one here. Looks like this one has been replaced, just one coil uh, so far I can see. So they have been trying to figure this um, problem. <clears throat> and the history with this car is they replaced the gearbox on this. I don't know, a mechanic did it or they, the customer did it themselves. I'm not too sure who did it. But since then, it's throwing that fault. So we're going to diagnose this um, car today. So I quickly um, I quickly um, hook up my scan tool. I'm just gonna read it's all the fault code on this car. And as you can see, we got ignition coil, cylinder one, cylinder three, cylinder five, misfire detected. And it's got an immobilizer fuel disabled signal received. I'm not gonna worry about immobilizer. It could be a separate issue. Could be your um, key, uh, could have some different issues. So I'm not gonna tackle that issue today. We're just gonna worry about number one, three and five cylinder misfire. Um, I'm going to start the car and see what it does quickly. It does not sound too bad, but I can see. There you go. There you go, you see all that misfiring. So what I'm gonna do just to identify which bank is misfiring, I'm just gonna unplug um, one of the cylinder um, on either, either bank. So the mechanic told me it's on the right hand bank, but I'm not too sure. I'm just gonna disconnect this coil on the other side. And it does nothing. It's disconnected. I just disconnect um, just disconnect this coil and it does nothing. Um, plug it in. Nothing, disconnect, nothing. Plug it in, nothing. I'm gonna disconnect it. There's, there's just zero response on that cylinder. Um, I'm just gonna quickly go over to the other bank. And I'm gonna disconnect uh, one of these um, coils as well. And see what it does.
There you go. There you go. The engine just clunk out. So definitely this side is working. I'm just going to plug it back on. So, so what I'm going to do is first thing I just want to check powers and grounds and signals. Uh, see if you got a, a, a um, a power and ground issue or you got no signal coming out of the computer to turn that uh, coil on on that bank so I'm just going to grab a test light I got the ignition on, so I got my test light hooked up to a battery negative. I'm just going to look for a power. And uh, this one's got a four wire. This uh, wiring for the coil has four wire, and typically, typically um, a four wire system, how they work is one should be power, one should be earth, one should be signal to turn the uh, transistor on and off in that coil to fire the spark plug and one would be a feedback circuit for the computer to know that um, that coil just fired. So 99% of the time that's what I found. I've never seen any other way they do it on cars on four wires. Uh, there might be some cars out there that I haven't worked on but so far every cars I've ever worked on four wires, power, earth, a signal from the computer and a signal feedback to the computer. So I'm just going to look for a power to a volt. So on the third pin I got 12.2 volt. The battery might be a little bit um, low on charge but I got a 12 volt on that wire. As you can see 12 volt on that wire. So now I'm going to change. I'm just going to fix this camera angle quickly. I'm just going to ch change my uh, multimeter, sorry, the, my uh, test light. I'm going on to the battery positive right here. And I'm going to look for a earth on that plug here. So you got four wires on the plug. I'm just touching on the pins. So I got nothing on that, nothing on that, nothing on that. I got nothing on that. So I'm missing a earth here. Let's check our test light. I'm just going to touch the body. Sorry, that's going to touch the engine. So we this test light lights up. That means I am hooked up to the battery. Let's try again. I got nothing on that. Nothing on that wire. Got nothing. I got nothing. I'm losing. I'm missing the earth here, guys. I think that's our problem. But just to make sure that we're doing everything right, I'm just going to go to the other side. And I'm going to check here. This is the side that we know that's working. So we're going to do the same test on this side. So I'm just going to hook up to the battery negative And we look for power again. So we got power, power. There you go. We got power on that wire. Now I'm going to change my test light to the battery battery positive check our test light it check the test light it lights as soon as touch the engine it lights so we test our um, test our test light is good so I'm gonna look for earth There's nothing on that wire nothing on that wire 
we got earth on that second pin and we got another earth on that last pin so there's two earth I don't know I haven't pulled the wiring diagram I don't know how the system works um, but we're seeing two earth and a ground here and we're seeing no earth on the other side so I think this is our problem that's why the other bank is not firing so I'm just gonna quickly eyeball see if I can find any earth strap loose or any wiring this kind of, uh, not connected any plugs so if you see on this side down where I'm focusing my torch see that see that 10 mil bolt there on the head engine head um, that's a earth supply and that goes to this this wiring goes up onto this harness where all the wiring for the coils come out of so I'm quite confident that might be the earth supply for the coil so let's go to the other side we should have similar setup on this side as well so I'm just gonna eyeball um, I'm just going to look for any disconnected plugs or um, you know, anything they missed when they did the gearbox change, you know. i um, just going to eyeball on this wiring harness. We got an earth down here that looks intact. Earth on the computer at the front that looks intact. There's a little wire. Ah, okay. That wire doesn't look right. This, oh, there you go. Looks like we found that problem. That wire that goes into the wiring harness up on that coil here, that is just loose. Okay, that might be our problem. All right. Okay, there you go. All right. All right, this is the people who changed this gearbox, a mechanic or customer themselves, whoever did this gearbox, this is their fault. They caused this problem. So I'm pretty sure this wiring, this earth strap here, should be connected to that head at the back um, just trying to get that camera angle right so basically this dipstick bolts up onto the head on the engine and that dipstick is just sitting there loose and the bolt is missing out of the mounting so I'm just gonna camera right See that mount at the, I'm just touching on the dipstick for the gearbox. Okay, see that mounting point? See that mount there? Where my torch is, torch is flashing? Right there, I'm moving the dipstick back and forth. That is just loose. I'm pretty sure this earth strap will go there. It doesn't matter if you find a mounting point around engine anywhere, it should do the same job. It's just the earth strap. So I'm just gonna put find a bolt and put this back together and I'll get back to you. fun place to do this bolt up uh, uh, right, 
is the 10 millimeter bolt, the earth and the dipstick. They mount together on that head at the very back of this engine. All right, now we got our mount um, bolt, uh, bolt um, on the earth wire now. Let's see if we got earth on this wiring now. So I'm just gonna disconnect that coil again. There we go. My test light connected to the battery positive. Find the earth. Find the earth, and that test light should light up. All right, let's go over this wiring again. Okay, we got nothing, we got nothing, we got earth, there you go. We got our missing earth back now. This car should run and and we should be able to rectify that problem now. I'm just gonna plug it back on, make sure everything is plugged in, make sure the other side's plugged in as well. I'm just gonna start the car. Engine runs beautiful. Now I'm just gonna, I'm just going to um, clear these fault cords now. Um, before the fault cords was, as soon as I just start the car, the fault cord would would uh, come back. Um, let's see what happens now. All right, we've successfully um, cleared the fault cord. I'm gonna switch it off and on again. All right, that's cars started back up. Let's see what we got. No fault cords. Let's just um, rev it a little bit and see if that misfire is gone. Yeah, no more engine lights, engine revs as it should, and this is how we fix the car. Thank you.